Wow. Wowie, wowie. Right, Graham? This is like a This Is Your Life episode. It's pretty incredible. Um, firstly, I'd, I'd like to thank Jeremy Renner for remaining my knight in shining armor. Yeah. Saved me today, you brilliant man, you. Um, funnily enough, Jeremy and I were reminiscing just the other night about when we used to see each other out and about in Hollywood back in the day and he was a struggling actor in a sea of blonde, hunky, 30-somethings, and I was a 19-year-old New Yorker here in Hollywood, sort of floating around aimlessly and anxiously waiting for my moment to break through. Never, ever, in my 20 years in this industry, would I ever, ever have thought my receiving this star would be even a remote possibility. It's always seemed like an honor so out of reach, something left for s the stellar standouts of the golden age, a, a, a recognition that for me growing up in New York and dreaming of a lighted marquee on Broadway, I never would have thought this possible, a permanent home on Hollywood Boulevard. This industry in which I was practically raised has been so impossibly kind to me. There is never a day where I go to set and don't thank my lucky stars to simply be a working actor. I still have moments at, at my lunch break or on a set change where I find myself walking around some quiet behemoth piece of set design thinking, this is pure magic. I could not think of a more touching way to celebrate my 20 years in film, which makes me feel either prematurely accomplished or prematurely aged than to be standing here receiving this incredible honor. And I feel so, so fortunate to have a group of people here with me today who have each in their own way been a foothold to me along this journey. My mom, Melanie. <laughs> Sorry. Who encouraged me as a little girl to follow a dream just as long as I really, really wanted it, and who supported me through every choice I made, who navigated unfamiliar waters, who partnered with me and hooked my arm as we skipped towards the Emerald City. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. My grandmother, Dorothy, is here today. She flew in all the way from New York she will be 90 years old this year. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> and she has boosted my confidence for 27 years straight. She remains my biggest cheerleader. Thank you, Grandma, for encouraging me always and for inspiring me to be a strong, modern, independent woman. I love you a million, a million. And. I feel so lucky to have with me some of my glorious colleagues and co-stars who have allowed me to lean on them, to pick their brains, to pretend their good ideas were mine. <laughs> Marcel Pariseau, my brilliant publicist who deserves a star himself for all the nonsense I make him put up with. Thank you for, for growing with me and for watching over me and for asking the hotel concierge to book my wake-up call. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. And my close friends who have held my hand, who have created art that makes me want to be a better artist, for expanding my mind in every which way, and for holding my heart. I'd like to thank Disney for sponsoring me, the City of Los Angeles, and the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce for providing me with some primo real estate right here. This is a good spot. I thought I'd be at one of those shops down the road, so I'm very happy about this. And um, finally, I'd just like to say, I've, I've been having such a ball most recently. I've been familiarizing myself with another one of my Walk of Fame alum, Janet Lee, through her memoirs and interviews. And when recounting a story about a young boy co-star who after giving a performance that was deemed subpar, was recast by another more boisterous performer. Janet remarked most poignantly, how fragile our footing. There is never a day that goes by 
that I do not feel like the luckiest person in the world to have a job that I love, to be employed to do that job, to have fans that allow me to be employed at that job, and to work with cast and crew members at the very, very top of their game. I'm constantly surprised that I have not yet been found out. When I was told I was getting this star, I thought to myself, man, I really made it to the big time. You know, no matter what happens from here on out, I made my mark, I'm here to stay, and my family for generations to come will always be able to visit me right here, always. What a deeply, deeply touching gift. Thank you so very much for celebrating this moment of my lifetime. Thank you. Oh, my God.